Cardiology for Kids by Betty Nguyen and Brandon Pham. Are you ready? Let's take a look. <laughs> Cardiology the branch of medicine concerned with the study and treatment of disorders and diseases of the heart. Place your hand on your chest. Can you feel your heart beating? Doctors use a stethoscope to listen to the heart. Lub, dub, lub, dub, lub, dub. No heart murmur. Valve closes completely. Heart murmur. Valve does not close completely. Heart valve. Some people can have an extra humming or whooshing sound between heartbeats. This is called a heart murmur. The heart is structured like a two-story house with four rooms. Each room is called a chamber. The top two chambers are called atria. They are like the two rooms on the top floor of the house. Right atrium, left atrium. The bottom two chambers are called ventricles. They are like the two rooms on the bottom floor. Right ventricle, left ventricle. Have you ever wondered where blood goes in your body with each heartbeat? First, the left ventricle pumps blood into a big blood vessel called the aorta, a type of artery. Aorta, left ventricle. Arteries carry blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. Most arteries are high in oxygen, which our cells need to survive. Arteries then branch into capillaries. Oxygen moves from capillaries into tissues from the body, which also need oxygen to survive. Capillaries, oxygen, to heart, vein, from heart, artery. Capillaries then come together to form larger vessels called veins. Veins carry blood toward the heart. Most veins are low in oxygen. Eventually, all veins come together to form the vena cava, which brings blood to the right atrium and then right ventricle. Superior vena cava, right atrium, right ventricle, inferior vena cava. Then, the right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs, where blood picks up oxygen from the air we breathe. Right lung, left lung, right ventricle. After picking up oxygen in the lungs, blood returns to the left atrium and then left ventricle. Then the cycle repeats. Right lung. Left lung, left atrium, left ventricle. Like the rest of our body, our heart also needs oxygen. Coronary arteries supply oxygen to the heart. Aorta, right coronary artery, left coronary artery, left circumflex artery, left anterior descending artery, Some people have fatty deposits in their coronary arteries that reduce blood flow to the heart. This is called coronary artery disease. Normal coronary artery disease. Artery wall. Red blood cells. Coronary artery. Heart. Plaque. Narrowed coronary artery. Fat. If the heart does not get enough oxygen, a person can feel chest pain. This is called angina, narrowed coronary artery, tightness 
or pain in chest. If a coronary artery is completely blocked, a section of the heart can't get enough oxygen and will be damaged. This is called a heart attack. Symptoms of heart attack. Nausea, shortness of breath, chest pain, sweating, upper body discomfort, blocked blood flow, damaged heart tissue, blood clot. A person having a heart attack needs to go to the hospital right away. Call 911 if you think someone is having a heart attack. Doctors can open the blocked coronary artery with a tiny balloon and keep it open with a small expandable mesh. This is called coronary angioplasty and stenting. As blood flows throughout our body, it pushes against the walls of arteries. This is called blood pressure. Red blood cell, blood vessel. Doctors can measure your blood pressure with a sphygmomanometer. A normal blood pressure helps keep your heart healthy. Our heart has an electrical system that coordinates each heartbeat. Doctors measure this electrical activity with an electrocardiogram. An EKG can be used to find out if someone has an abnormal or irregular heartbeat. This is called an arrhythmia. Normal arrhythmia. SA node, normal electrical signals. SA node, disorganized electrical signals. Some people with arrhythmias need a pacemaker, which is a small electronic device placed inside the chest that helps control their heartbeat. Atrial lead, left ventricular lead, right ventricular lead. Doctors can also measure how well the heart pumps blood with an echocardiogram, which creates pictures of the heart using sound waves. An echocardiogram can be used to diagnose congestive heart failure, which occurs if the heart can't pump or fill with blood normally. Diastolic heart failure, systolic heart failure, heart can't fill, heart can't pump. Stiff and thick chambers, stretched and thin chambers. Fortunately, patients with congestive heart failure can take medications to improve symptoms and live longer, healthier lives. Your heart is a very important organ. Eating healthy foods and exercising regularly can keep your heart healthy. You're a future cardiologist. Let's review what you learned. What medical instrument do doctors use to listen to the heart? Three, two, one. Stethoscope. What is an extra humming or whooshing sound between heartbeats cold? Three. Two, one. Murmur. Extra humming or whooshing sound between the heartbeats. Murmur. What are the four chambers of the heart? Three, two, one. Right atrium. Right ventricle. Left atrium. Left ventricle. Where does the left ventricle pump blood to? Three, two, one. To the rest of the body through the aorta, largest artery in the blood. What are the differences between arteries and veins? What are capillaries? Three, two, one. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and are usually high in oxygen. Veins carry blood toward the heart and are usually low in oxygen. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels that connect arteries 
with veins. What blood vessel brings blood to the right atrium? Three, two, one. Vena cava, largest vein in the body. Where does the right ventricle pump blood to? Three, two, one. To the lungs, through the pulmonary artery. After blood receives oxygen from the lungs, where does it go? Three, two, one. To the left atrium, and then left ventricle, through the pulmonary veins. What are the blood vessels that supply oxygen to the heart cold? Three, two, one. Coronary arteries. People with fatty deposits in their coronary arteries have what disease? Three, two, one. Coronary artery disease. What is chest pain caused by a heart not getting enough oxygen cold? Three, two, one. Angina. What is a heart attack? How is it treated? Three, two, one. Condition caused by a completely blocked coronary artery, treated with coronary angioplasty and stenting. What is an electrocardiogram? Three, two, one. Test that measures electrical activity of the heart. What condition can it help diagnose? Three, two, one. Arrhythmia. What is a pacemaker? Three, two, one. Electronic device placed inside the chest to help control the heartbeat. What is an echocardiogram? Three, two, one. Test that creates pictures of the heart using sound waves. What condition can it help diagnose? Three, two, one. Heart failure. Thank you for watching. I hope you learnt a lot. And don't forget, be good for mommy and daddy. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Story time with Kitter.